Oh, hello everyone. Welcome to the Econobox Garage. Come on inside where it's a little bit warmer. Here again are the bits of the generator taken apart as the main armature uh, commutator needs to be cleaned up. Uh, here's the new bearing that I got, uh, a new fan for the front. I will clean up the original pulley and get it some painted. Uh, I've got the new brushes and you can see a uh, comparison between the old and the new. Uh, they are quite a bit worn so then I'll give this uh, back plate a really good clean and a coat of paint before I put it back on the car. Also going to give the main housing itself a good clean and a coat of uh, green paint. First thing to do is to get the bearing um, out of the old casing. Now it's re retained by four rivets. One, two, three, four. And once I have these those rivets drilled out, I can remove this uh, front plate um, I'll get it cleaned up and a fresh coat of paint, and then we'll put the new bearing in, which is a more modern sealed bearing. So let's get this mounted in the vise, and then we'll get these rivets drilled out, and that will release. There's a retaining plate uh, back in here that's holding that bearing in place. Well, I have the bearing off the shaft here. There's a little retainer for this uh, clip in here, so I'll make sure that stays in place. Before I go any further, though, I just uh, thought I'd just show you the old bearing versus the new. The old bearing is a traditional ball bearing, and it had uh, some kind of felt seal. I think that was oh, this side. had a felt seal in there, and then a little spring thing on top of that and then another piece on top of that yet yeah. all that gets replaced by this sealed bearing so that'll get pressed in there with a little bit of loctite just to hold it in place because i won't be reinstalling the retaining plate and then that whole assembly will get pressed onto the end of the shaft here so up next i'm going to finish cleaning the commutator end i'll get a coat of paint on this when it warms up a little bit and then i'll get the housing cleaned. I'll get the back plate cleaned as well and we'll get uh, some paint out and uh, this will get uh, cleaned as well. Well after some cleaning and painting I have all the bits and pieces assembled ready to put the generator back together. Here's some of the parts I won't be using. This is the old uh, bearing. These are the old brushes and here's one of the new ones just to compare. So they are quite worn. This piece here is the retainer for the bearing that was riveted to the back of the front plate uh, back here. I'm not going to be reusing that, uh, but I will be using some Loctite 609 to put uh, the new bearing into place. You can see that's a, a more modern sealed uh, bearing. Um, I will retain the spacers uh, that go uh, between the front of that bearing and the inside of the case here, but um, we'll get to that in a bit more detail. Uh, here's the new brushes, a uh, new fan for the front, uh, the front pulley's been painted, the case, the main case has been painted, the front cover has been painted, uh, and the back cover has been painted as well. So for the moment, um, I don't have the Loctite that I need. Uh, that's on order. I'll have that uh, tomorrow afternoon. 
uh, but I can put the back plate together with the oiler, uh, the brushes, um, and the insulator for that. So uh, let's get to work on that. So first to go on is this little insulator. Uh, it goes on um, over that boss there. And this hole here is where uh, they'll come out of the case. So I've got that insulator in place. Um, I've cleaned up the nut and there's a, a washer, regular washer, uh, kind of a lock washer and the nut for there. So we'll just put that into place. Now inside here there's a, a brass, a centered brass bushing and there was very little play in that so I didn't replace it. Uh, but there is an oiler for that. So there's a little felt pad inside uh, this brass a tube here with a spring and that's been soaked in oil. And that just goes in this hole here and threads into place and that way there's a constant source of oil on, on the back side of that bushing. I'll just grab the screwdriver for that, tighten that into place. So that part's ready to go. And then the bushes uh, screw into these holes here and are held in place by these springs. So I'll get them screwed into place, but I won't, can't put them into their holders just yet. Or I can't put them all the way down, otherwise I won't be able to get the, the back plate over the end of the over the end of the armature here. So again, there's a short screw with a, a lock washer and goes through the tab there. I took a picture of how those bushes, pardon me, I took a picture of how those brushes are attached uh, before I took them off, so I'm going to refer back to that. So you can see now the spring is just resting on the side of that. And once I've got this closer into position in the back of the thing, I'll pop that spring up. That'll push the brush onto the commutator on the armature. But for now, I'm just going to put that on the side. So that way I'll be able to slide this down over top of the commutator, pop the spring up, and then I'll force it against the, that. So let's get this other, other one put on. So there we go. Brushes are screwed in place with the springs holding them away from the commutator on both sides. And when that goes in, these wires will pop down and there won't be any contact with the outside of the case. So here we have the components of the front end of the generator. So here's the armature itself. There's a split ring on here. I think is acting as a spacer, I'm not sure, but I haven't taken that off. But there is a, a piece that goes over top of that. Uh, then the bearing will be there, mounted in the front cover. Then there's the spacer, and there's the fan, and then the, the front pulley uh, all lines up uh, right on front of that. And then there's a nut, then there's a washer and nut that goes on the end of the armature here, and that puts everything together. And once that's together, we can put the, the whole generator back into one piece. Oh, my retaining compound came in this morning. I'm going to get the bearing installed in the front plate of the generator. Now the reason I'm using this, originally the bearing was held in by this uh, plate here, uh, but it was riveted in place and I don't have new rivets. I did a bit of research and this is one method that was recommended. Now it's been fairly chilly here, so I've left this um, cold. I'm going to warm this up with a heat gun and I have my vise set up so that I can put the bearing and then use this socket which is the size of the outer race and I'll use that as a press in the vise uh, but first I'll just set it in place apply the retaining compound just around the perimeter of the bearing and then I'll press it into place with the spacer and washer in, in position as I mentioned earlier but first, I'm going to warm this up with a heat gun. 
and so that just expand that a little bit and theoretically with the bearing being um, as cold as it is it'll make it a lot easier to push into place. I have a bead of the retaining compound on all the edges there. So I'm just going to place, put this in the position. And I'll just get it in place here. actually quite warm for just being warmed up that little bit. So anyway, there's the new bearing in place with the spacers and we'll let that cure for a bit. We'll let that cool down. And then we can do, get on with the rest of the assembly. Now the plan now is to use a large socket or a smaller socket that fits over the shaft of the armature and then rides on the inside race of the bearing. And that is just about perfect. And then I'll just tap that in uh, with a hammer, just very carefully. Oh, that works a lot better than the old bearing did. All right, so now that we've got the, that pressed into place, I can put together the rest of the front of the panel. So first to go on is this spacer. That just goes right into there. And then, actually one thing I'm going to do is flip this over a little bit. So it's, the shaft is straight up and down. I'll get a bit of a close-up here so you can see what I'm doing. So you can see here there's a, a keyway and I have a little woodruff key that goes in there. So I'll put that into place, I'll slide the fan over and then slide the main pulley over and then tighten it up with the washer and nut. Just get that in a bit further. There's the fan on. And then here goes the pulley. I'll use a socket to push this on the rest of the way. So there's that. Put the lock washer on. And we'll put the nut on. Now I've cleaned these all up and I've run a, a die down the threads here to clean everything up. So this will go on quite nicely. I um, might just put a bit of Loctite on that. So I've got some blue Loctite on there. Put the nut on. And give it a good tighten. And there we have the front part of the, the generator put back together. Now with the armature installed in the front plate here with the new fan, new bearing. So next up I'm going to put the casing over top and you can see there's a little indexing key here or spot here and there's one on each end. There's one, one here that's for the back plate and there's a corresponding one down at the bottom here. So we'll get those on and then we'll get the the back plate on which with the new brushes. As I mentioned earlier I have the brushes just held away from the armature or the commutator. So once I've got it part way in I'll pop these springs so that they're pushing the brushes down. So let's get the case on and then back cover on and then we can bolt everything up or screw everything together with these long screws here.
So the generator is all ready to go in the car. Uh, I've got the, you can see I have the tack drive mounted in place. Uh, that's just in there loosely. I haven't tightened it yet so I can make any necessary adjustments once it's in the car. And then, and before I put it in the car, I am going to test it, but that will be in a future video. Well, that wraps up another episode in our Bug Eye Build. Thanks for joining me. If you've enjoyed the video, please be sure to share it with your friends. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget that little bell icon. Click on that and you'll get notified when the next video comes out. If you'd like to get a hold of me directly, you can email me at the address that I'll put at the bottom of the screen, and that will also be in the description below. My name is Ian, this is the Econobox Garage, we'll see you next time!